And see, this, the part of the streets that people don't tell you is when you go to jail for, for two, three years straight, me and my girlfriend spent every day together. And then instantly, we were not together anymore. And the most debilitating part about this is when you go to jail, you don't necessarily just walk into jail and you can make a phone call, right? I gotta fill the paperwork, and it takes a week for the paperwork to get processed before I can make a phone call, so I couldn't talk to anybody, right? I had to fill, put in paperwork for somebody to come visit. I had to put in paperwork for somebody to put money on my books. So all of a sudden, I went from being with my girlfriend every day for two to three years to not being able to talk to her for over a week and not being able to see her for two weeks. And I'll never forget the first time that we talked on the phone, we only get 20 minute phone calls. And the first time we talked on the phone for 19 minutes and 36 seconds, we sat on the phone and we cried. And then the first time she could come see me, I was in an orange jumpsuit and there was three inch glass in between us. But you get 30 minute visits, and for 26 of the minutes we cried. Like I didn't even know I had all those tears. But what I realized is when you don't plan your life and stuff happens, you don't know how you got here. Right, because it, I promise you in a blink of an eye, I was a college kid with a scholarship playing basketball, setting records as a freshman, lose my scholarship, and now I'm sitting in jail wondering, is my girlfriend gonna hold me down? So I realized that a lot of times people find themselves in positions that they don't plan on being on, but when adversity hits, that's where you find out who the real you is.